Good morning, I'm Nicole Lopez, and this is Hardline. There are numerous sources that are providing data on how the U.S. government is abusing power. A perfect example is the recently released Facebook's Global Government Request Report. The report indicates that the U.S. government's requests for Facebook account data had greatly increased by 27% in the first six months of 2016. Request for user data had increased from 46,710 in the last six months of the year 2015 to 59,229 in the first six months of 2016. Unfortunately, Facebook added that the 56% of the requests contain a non-disclosure order that prohibited. Facebook from informing the account holders. Facebook also reported an 87% decrease in requests demanding removal of content from its forums by law enforcement agencies across the globe. The number dropped from 55,827 in the last six months of 2015 to 9,663 in 2016. Facebook also revealed for the first time how it deals with requests for snapshots of a user account that is related to the law enforcement for classified purposes. Facebook pointed out that these requests are known as preservation requests. They are requests to preserve data pending receipt of formal legal process. These requests are often processed as temporary preserved snapshots. Facebook revealed that it doesn't disclose any of the preserved records until and unless it receives a valid and formal legal process. The company received 38,675 preservation requests for the first six months of 2016, regarding 67,129 user accounts. It also emphasized that it does not give the law enforcement any backdoors to the user's information emphasizing that requests are only fulfilled if they meet legal requirements. Facebook made it clear that it applies a rigorous approach to every government request it receives in a move aimed at protecting people's information. However, it's worth noting that this rigorous approach is not enough with the unsuccessful implementation privacy overreach reforms. The 2015 USA Freedom Act is an ideal example. The law was endorsed by libertarian congressmen like Representative Justin Amash. However, some congressmen criticized the bill after it was tweaked, allowing the government to have more power. Facebook pointed out on the new rule, adding that transparency reforms that have been introduced this year by the USA Freedom Act have additional information on national security letters. The national security letter are extraordinary search procedures that enable the Federal Bureau of Investigation to have the power to compel the disclosure of clients' information that is held by the banks, internet service providers, and telephone companies. Please check the Goldwater website for more in-depth articles and follow us on social media. Don't forget like this video and subscribe in our YouTube channel. This is Nicole Lopez from the Goldwater.